dear students in continuation of uh, lectures under uh, VTU e Sikshana. Uh, in my previous discussion, we have studied about separation of variables to solve the differential equation. Now the next method is that is homogeneous differential equation. This is step by step we have to understand how the differential equations are to be appeared and how they are to be solved. This is the next method we are going to take up with the support of the previous method what we studied. That is the first method separation of variables, but now homogeneous. First of all, you have to understand what is the meaning of this homogeneous. It is a dictionary meaning which is common meaning to every application. Common meaning homo means same, okay, yes. A function is said to be homogeneous a function or differential equation homogeneous such that such that the degree of every term <coughs> is same. Can you give an example for this homogeneous function? Any function you can give an example. The same meaning will be extended to differential equation, that is all. Because whatever in the uh, ordinary function we are going to define for homogeneity and the same meaning will be extended to that is differential equation. <coughs> for example, first one x plus y, right? x plus y is equal to x plus y. That means this degree is 1 throughout. This is called first degree, okay. This is a function of first degree. Then second equation x square plus 2xy plus y square. This is homogeneous of second degree because this is x degree 1 and y degree 1 and this will be added here uh, to uh, take out the degree of every term. So, this is nothing but third degree, uh, sorry, second degree. So, first term has the degree 2, last term has the degree 2 and in between second term that is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. This is second degree, but it is homogeneous, right. Similarly, x cube plus so 3x square y, 3x into y square plus y cube. This is what degree? Third degree. This is also homogeneous. Third degree. You must remember that throughout the equation, the terms in the form of x alone or in the form of y alone or in the form of product of both, they appear or they give the degree same throughout the equation, then we call it as uh, homogeneous function, okay. Same principle will be extended to differential equation, okay. Now, for example, consider m dx plus n dy equal to 0. Here, m and n are functions of x comma y, they are functions of x comma y means x has got some degree and y has got some degree, right. They are not constants. These two both are uh, variables, uh, sorry, functions of x and y variables. Then whatever m has the degree, it must be same with n. Then it is called as homogeneous differential equation, okay. If m equal to m x comma y and n is equal to n x comma y <coughs> denote denote same degree same degree that implies it is homogeneous anyway you can call this equation as one then homogeneous what is that ordinary differential equation. First these things should be in your mind because homogeneous and non-homogeneous is the category that we are going to discuss in the next 
two lectures. Now, in this homogeneous, this is a very, say, a very important uh, requirement of rearrangement and how we have to proceed with the solution. Okay. When once you identify this is not possible in separation of variables, then we have to switch over to homogeneous differential equation. That means we have to verify whether it comes in homogeneous uh, differential equation category or non-homogeneous differential equation category. <coughs> if it is in homogeneous uh, differential equation type, then what is the method of solving that differential equation? <coughs> I will take this differential equation as 1 where m and n are not constants, they are functions of x and y. If 1 equation 1 is homogeneous, then the solution, the solution requires, the solution requires two substitutions, one important substitution that means two sets, any one set you can offer. That means one set will give of one type of solution, another set will offer another type of solution, ultimately it will be same. Then requires the substitution substitution as this is first type, put y is equal to vx <coughs> and dy is equal to v into dx plus x into dv or another choice also you can make out uh, x equal to vy. In this case y is eliminated, in this case x is eliminated implies dx v into dy plus y into dv. If you do this much any one, any one, either this choice or this choice in equation 1, then uh, homogeneous differential equation will be reduced to the separation of variables. Main goal of this substitution is to reduce this equation 1 which is identified as homogeneous will be reduced to the uh, separation of variables. Okay. Then, <coughs> then 1 becomes one becomes separation of variables, one becomes separation of variables and solution can be taken. Solution can be taken means in the previous set of problems what we studied the method of grouping uh, x terms and y terms separately that procedure we will apply. <coughs> but you have to identify very clearly either of this type or of this type or of this type. Okay. Maximum means you will get third degree maximum, but more importantly common uh, type of uh, uh, differential equation you will be getting second degree coefficients m and n second degree coefficients. So then this substitution you can choose either or this substitution you can choose, but do not forget the derivative also is to be replaced. <coughs> if you choose y and eliminate with uh, dy, if you choose x, eliminate with dx. So, any one of these substitutions we have to choose and then how the solution we are going to get, we will study the application of homogeneous differential equation with this substitution. Let us take few examples on that. <coughs> the first example, maybe it is a common uh, heading once again, solve the following differential equations. First one is, <coughs> solve x square minus y square uh, that is plus y square and dx and minus 2xy dy equal to 0. This is your problem. First you analyze, do not by heart the uh, method what uh, it is given in the book or what the teacher explains. It is not the method of learning mathematics. You, you have to analyze the problem, do not buy at this because same type of terms uh, what uh, there is no guarantee that in the question papers you will get. But you have to uh, go through the uh, analysis of the uh, degree of every term which is appeared as a coefficient for this dx and as well as for dy. <coughs> if the degrees are same 
uh, in place of coefficient of dx and coefficient of dy, then you will declare that as homogeneous function and also when it is not possible to come in uh, separation of variables earlier to this we studied. Now we will reduce this to separation of variables with this procedure that is y is equal to y is equal to vx or x equal to vy that is this differential equation. Now we can compare what is that equation 1, equation 1 in the standard form right A solution. given x square plus y square it is dx <coughs> minus 2xy dy equal to 0. Now this is degree 2, this is degree 2, this is 1 plus 1, this is equal to 2. That means it is same throat, it is said to be homogeneous differential equation. It is homogeneous ODE of degree 2. It is the homogeneous differential equation of degree 2. Now, I will use this uh, substitution, put y is equal to vx <coughs> and dy v into dx plus x into dv. There are theoretical clarifications are there, but according to those theoretical clarifications, the final step is this one, put y equal to vx and this one. How we got this uh, will be some other details are there, it is not necessary. Only you remember when it is homogeneous, introduce y, the purpose is you have to remove y and then write in terms of another symbol that is v and x. Similarly, its derivative also to be removed. Okay. Then what is this here from the equation 1? If you do this, that is x square remains as it is, 1 implies x square plus v square x square into dx minus 2x and in place of y that is vx <coughs> and in place of dy v dx plus x into dv. <coughs> that is equal to 0. Okay. Now, what is the next uh, step? That means you can see the advantage when you use this application of substitution. From the given problem, it is a summation of two terms where it is not possible to take separation of variables application because sum of the two terms is there. It is not in the form of a product. Second term may be supporting, but first term is not supporting, but at the same time degree is same, then we will go for homogeneous differential equation application. Okay. So now from the first one, <coughs> x square into 1 plus v square dx minus that is 2 times v uh, square x square v into v x square. Uh, that is x into x, x square, v into v, v square, 2 is there and then dx is there minus it is 2 times, <coughs> 2 times x cube, right? That is x into x into one more x, correct? Huh? That is 2 times x cube, it is dv, 2 times x cube and v, here also v comes, that is equal to 0. So now you can verify uh, collecting the coefficients of dx separately and collecting the coefficients of dv in another group. If any simplification or cancellation is possible, you can think of. Now dx repeats, this, this is one term and this is another term, whereas dv appears only 
once. Therefore, we can take the common terms that means common factor of dx. I will write like this. This is x square into 1 plus v square, <coughs> right? And uh, uh, for dx, I will take this term also 2 times v square, okay? x square, it is dx, correct? Huh? dx common coefficient I am writing 2 times v square and then x square minus of 2 times v into x cube, it is dv equal to 0. Now, can I take this x square common from all the terms? x square common that is 1 plus v square minus 2 times of v square, correct? Huh? It is dx minus it is 2 times v x cube, it is dv equal to 0. Just I am doing ordinary simplification from every term. Ordinary simplification means if any term is going to be cancelled throughout, maybe uh, coincidentally one term is possible that is x square from the first bracket and x square from the second bracket. So, here x square I think I can cancel with this, this x square. So, 1 plus v square minus 2 v square, what happens? 1 minus v square, this is in one bracket for dx and in another uh, coefficient, okay, in another coefficient that is 2 v and then x that is uh, dv equal to 0. Verify that, your simplification. Here x cube is there, I am taking the cancellation with the x square. So, it leaves one x I have written here and minus 2v. So, now this is in the form of product. Now, you can see this differential equation is more suitable for separation of variables. Here you have to think repeatedly from what stage we converted this problem to what stage and how it was and now how it is. It was initially with the homogeneous where due to the summation of two terms, it was not possible to separate the variables. But due to the application of this substitution along with the derivative, we made it convenient uh, to make separated uh, uh, quantities as coefficients. That means coefficient of dx is 1 minus v square and coefficient of dv is product. This product will help us because with that product only we will proceed. Okay. Now, it is very easy to separate we do not want this bracket here and we do not want x here. So, that dividing by x into 1 minus v square because 1 minus v square we do not want here and x we do not want here. But then what happens here? Then uh, after the division then dx is there, okay? dx divided by x minus 2 times v 1 minus v square and then it is dv equal to 0. Now, you check uh, this step perfectly when you compare with previous step. This was the problem homogeneous, this is the step separation of variables, this is the step separated variables. Separated variables means this completely first term is free from v, otherwise x terms in one side and v terms in another side because we wanted in that way. Now, you can integrate, okay? integrating each term. Integrating each term <coughs> dx over x minus 2 times that is v by 1 minus it is v square dv equal to constant. It is, I, I hope you can uh, uh, see the coincidence, exactly same type of step we came across in the previous method, that is in the separation of variables. Here this has helped us when it is appeared in the product form, so that we can group x terms here and then v terms there. It is now it is ready for integration. What is the first term? Log x minus 2 times, what is the differentiation of v square? Minus of 2v minus 2 is not there, okay, into 1 divided by minus 2 you have to write, then you have to write log of because the integration formula 
1 minus v square and that is equal to constant. Still it is not the final answer. Here your final answer should fall in terms of the given symbols. Given symbols are what? x and y not in terms of that is new symbol which you have taken as v that is to be eliminated. Now this is log x right and minus minus plus and 2 cancels that is log of 1 minus v square is equal to c. Now you can write this one log of x into 1 minus v square is equal to c. Then e to the power log e to the power log of this value x into 1 minus v square log of this much because on both sides I am raising exponential as a base. This is equal to e to the power c. Maybe you can represent this is some constant capital E because anyway it is an arbitrary constant you have to take uh, that as an arbitrary constant only. Then on both sides so uh, uh, if you observe e to the power log x is only x then x into 1 minus v square is equal to capital A. Still it is not the final answer because what is the value of v? Then 1 minus v square is from this you have to collect v is equal to y by x. In every problem in this topic you have to write the value of v at the last step. That is x into 1 minus y by x whole square, y by x whole square is equal to capital A. This is your answer according to homogeneous differential equation. So what you are going to learn? That means every topic uh, uh, you have to learn by taking, that means you must be ready to solve the new challenge. You have to ready to solve the new problem uh, from this existing problem what the steps you have understood and you must keep yourself ready after understanding this problem and you must be ready to accept another challenging problem and see that how that is to be uh, solved by proper rearrangement. I will I'll go for the next uh, uh, example with uh, some conditions because arbitrary constant uh, you know, value is to be calculated that we will see how that problem will give us the solution procedure. Okay, under the same heading that is homogeneous differential equation because there are two types which we will discuss one is homogeneous and the other one is non-homogeneous. Okay, so with conditions I will take one example solve solve x square y dash equal to y square plus 2xy y square plus 2xy, y equal to 1 and x equal to 1. You concentrate on this special case where uh, the condition is attached to the problem. x square into y dash and sometimes they will give dy by dx and sometimes they will give us y dash. Okay? Any notation they will give, even sometimes they will give us y1 but both are referring to your differential coefficient because dy by dx of that kind you have to expect. Okay. Uh, in this problem let us write with the standard symbols because now you have to uh, check that whether it comes in homogeneous or some other uh, method. Okay. x square x square dy by dx equal to y square plus of 2xy. Okay. Then y equal to 1 and x equal to 1. This is your problem. Now, what is the coefficient of this uh, x, uh, dy? That is x square and if you take cross multiplication, you can also write in another form that is dy is equal to y square and uh, plus 2xy. It is multiplied by dx. I will write all terms to one side. y square plus 2xy multiplied by this is dx minus x square into dy equal to 0. So this is our required format, not necessarily, but some authors they suggest 
go for the uh, method like uh, mdx plus ndy equal to 0 and some authors they select uh, every problem like dy by dx only. But whichever is convenient you can study, but uh, um, according to my suggestion of course uh, uh, coefficient of dx and coefficient of dy when you are going to compare better you write according to uh, mdx plus ndy form so that what is the behavior of m compared to behavior of n whether the degrees are same or degrees are different. So now you can now you can easily make out what is the degree of this y is 2 right y gives 2 this is 1 plus 1 x degree 1 and y degree 1 this is equal to 2 this is also 2 and this is also 2. So it is certain that this problem comes under the uh, category that is homogeneous differential equation therefore it is homogeneous it is homogeneous of degree 2 how you are going to write 2 because everywhere it is the degree 2 only but blindly you don't follow any of the concepts right looking to the degree whatever it is appeared for the variable count it and if it is in the product take the total of it and then compare with the coefficients ok. So now when once it is homogeneous of degree 2 now the next step is put y is equal to vx and dy what is the value v into dx plus x into dv. So this is what uh, the system is to be uh, understood uh, where substitution method works uh, to convert the homogeneous form into the separation of variables. Now I will introduce these two values in the equation then it is y square it is v square x square plus of 2 times x into vx correct huh? then dx minus x square <coughs> you must remember actually your aim is to eliminate y along with the dy if you choose in this way the substitution correct v square x square plus 2 x v into x dx minus of x square right then uh, if you take x square common from the first coefficient here x square is common v square plus of 2 times of v this is one term it is multiplied by dx uh, now this is minus of x square it is uh, derivative you have to replace v dx plus x dv equal to 0 x square into v square v square remains here and x square I put it outside that is 2 times of v dx minus of this is x square correct and uh, here v dx I will keep it as it is v dx and x dv equal to 0. Now I can comfortably cancel this x square which acts as common factor throughout the differential equation after cancelling that one now I will collect the common coefficients of dx because dx is appeared in two places then I will put that dx as a common factor where it is this is in one place and this is in another place ok from this you can write v square plus 2 times of v multiplied by dx and here also it is multiplied by dx minus sign is there v is there it is minus v I will put this dx outside and minus of x into dv equal to 0 hope you are following all these steps if you have any doubts then you can reproduce all the steps you can reproduce all the calculations and then see that if any query is there then you can uh, uh, discuss or you can go for uh, uh, verification if there is any changes or still shortcut method is available ok. This is one method we can suggest but homogeneous means this is the main procedure putting y is equal to vx and dy is equal to this one 
this is one among two choices. Another uh, choice is x equal to vy and dx is equal to v into dy plus uh, y into dv like that. Okay. Now, I will write uh, the calculation that is plus 2v and minus uh, v that is v square plus of v this is like this and then it is dx minus x into dv equal to 0. You verify that this is dx gives v I have written here with minus sign but dv this is minus of x I have written as it is. Now, from the first term you can take v outside and v plus uh, <coughs> this one v plus 1 it is dx minus x into dv equal to 0. So, uh, from your analysis what, what the conclusion you can make out from your analysis. Earlier this problem was in summation of two terms where it is highly impossible to go for separation of variables as it is that means in the existing format. But now we did with this substitution made it possible to separate the variables. Now you can see very easily here this is completely uh, as, a, as a coefficient of dx this is completely as a coefficient of dv. Now we can release from dx uh, the term of v and from dv the term of x. Okay. So, what is the division you are going to take? x into v into v plus 1. Right? You, you are going to divide throughout. What, what happens? dx divided by x minus 1 by v into v plus 1 into it is dv is equal to 0. This step carefully you must observe. You must keep your guessing how the substitution uh, converts or the substitution will help us to change the problem from uh, homogeneous to the separation of variables. That is the connectivity what we are going to expect. And the main goal of uh, taking this one to change this homogeneous into separation of variables. Okay. This is homogeneous uh, ODE, homogeneous uh, differential equation of degree 2 and this is nothing but separation of variables. Okay. One or two problems every step you understand, every step because uh, like uh, uh, without uh, going to the details of uh, calculations and the concept which you are going to apply, uh, 100 problems if you solve then you may not be in a position to uh, have uh, complete confidence, that is not the way. But if one problem if you take what is how you have to start and what the change you expect and it uh, takes in which form then how you are going to write the solution procedure and in addition to that condition is given that is the constant. Exactly. So, in whichever the application you go because these are the differential equations you will find everywhere in the engineering uh, cases that means engineering disciplines then you need to understand the depth of the uh, solution of the differential equation because uh, in my knowledge uh, as I know uh, every engineer must become problem solver. It is not uh, uh, you know incomplete uh, solution you have to give. You have to accept the challenge and then you have to see that how the differential equation related problems can be solved and that is uh, required like analysis. Okay, what is the situation and what is the application problem and how it is and which form it is and what is the uh, method you are going to adopt like uh, this one to convert homogeneous into separation of variables. Okay. <coughs> now, this is ready for integration dx by x and minus 1 divided by v into v plus 1. Why uh, I am telling that it is ready for integration? Because it is in the separated variable form. Separated variable form means this is completely free from v, this is completely free from x. Therefore, it is the case of separated variables. Now, you will do that integrating every term, integrating uh, that is all it is understood every term you have to integrate that is dx by x, okay, dx by x 
minus integration 1 divided by v into v plus 1 it is dv is equal to constant ok. So, here it is another interesting uh, situation uh, appear it is a product of two terms here you cannot directly integrate you will have to use partial fractions because already you have studied partial fractions in your uh, uh, previous uh, level of syllabus then you just go for recalling what are the steps you have taken for application of partial uh, fractions ok. So, now anyway first term is log x that is uh, to be written directly then here 1 divided by here directly if you can write directly if you can write you can write it otherwise I think directly here by inspection method you can write minus 1 divided by v plus 1 I think this will work out this will work out you just verify that is taking the LCM v into this one here v plus 1 and minus v you will get back the original function that is 1 divided by v into v plus 1 it is a product right this is a product and then that product will help us uh, to split in the form of uh, cons first constant divided by first factor so uh, plus of second constant divided by second factor that is the meaning of partial fractions you have studied in your, in your lower level classes right. So, because as it is you cannot integrate you have to write like this otherwise partial fractions a by v b by this one a equal to 1 b equal to minus 1 you are going to get it maybe in another problem we you may come across then this is now ready for integration the second term log x plus log v minus this is also log because v plus 1 differentiation is dv then you must write log of the denominator 1 plus v is equal to constant this is the end of it this is the solution last step of the solution right but uh, some uh, simplification we will expect uh, in the form of remove one, one case is removal of log and another case is application of given condition for what purpose you have to calculate the particular value of this constant as uh, x equal to 1 and then y equal to 1 because all our log functions first of all I will remove log uh, let me uh, calculate uh, putting all these three logs together this is anyway summation is there that is log x into v and this is uh, difference is there 1 plus v like this I can write very easily and then it is c your problem uh, previous step reduces to this form right then x into v e uh, divided by 1 plus v is equal to e to the power c this is what the step x into v divided by 1 plus v that means rising on both sides by exponential e to the power log x is only x this is the value then e to the power c therefore now you will have to uh, substitute v is equal to what v is equal to you know, in terms of given variables because you cannot apply this uh, uh, condition that is v is equal to what v is equal to y by x you write that uh, here x into y by x correct huh? that is uh, y is equal to v x means v is equal to y by x I have written here 1 plus y by x ok e equal to e to the power c that is uh, in terms of x and y I am expecting now ok this x I will cancel now what is the term you are getting after taking LCM the here it is x comes here y remains ok y divided by x plus y this x goes to numerator I think y into x ok you can check that is equal to e to the power c that is equal to capital A some constant because e to the power c is also a totally constant then you have to finally apply this condition what is that condition x equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 what happens to this step right yeah, uh, x into y divided by x plus y is equal to a 
this A is arbitrary constant. Actually, this is the solution for your uh, homogeneous differential equation. But there is a condition given, you have to write that value of A as a particular constant. It is the, it is the exact value. But you cannot keep this constant as arbitrary because condition is given. Let us uh, try what is the value when you are putting x equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 in this equation. Now you can write at x equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, we have 1 into 1 divided by 1 plus 1 is equal to a implies a is equal to 1 divided by 2. Your final solution that is equal to 1 divided by 2. This is your complete solution of the homogeneous differential equation when some condition is attached uh, to write your solution in the complete form. That means if you do not uh, uh, write the solution in the particular value of the constant, then it remains a general solution, but this is a particular solution. I will try one more last problem on this application so that you can try for uh, other uh, problems uh, in the same fashion because substitution is more important that is y is equal to vx and how you are going to rearrange. Uh, let me take another uh, case, another uh, important example that also I will solve. <coughs> On the same uh, homogeneous differential equation, solve dy by dx. Uh, little lengthier problem I will select x square minus 4 x y minus 2 y square whole divided by 2 x square plus 4 x y and minus of y square. In the solution as I told you that uh, do not expect the problem like every time m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 like this. Uh, sometimes they will give dy by dx is equal to uh, right side numerator divided by denominator, but both, uh, uh, both are uh, with uh, homogeneous type. That means degree is same, both are homogeneous type, degree in the numerator and degree in the denominator here. When, when they give like this, then you have to compare between numerator and denominator. When they give like this, coefficient of dx and coefficient of dy. So, now let me proceed according to this only, afterwards I will rearrange, otherwise uh, you can rewrite according to the standard form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. That means you will take cross multiplication like this, then rearrange the problem dy this one and dx this one, okay. Uh, 2x square plus 4xy minus y square right this is dy is equal to x square minus 4xy uh, minus 2y square it is dx is your problem right every term is representing every term is representing what degree every term is representing degree 2 as i told you that it's it's a rough clue which i am giving uh, even if they give uh, third degree, even if you come across the problem with third degree, procedure is same. But every term you have to analyze properly whether these terms will support us for the uniformity in terms of degree, otherwise they are different from uniformity. Now, this is anyway degree is 2, this is 1 plus 1 degree is 2, this is degree is 2, degree is 2, 1 plus 1 degree is 2, this is also 2. 100 percent this is homogeneous of degree 2, homogeneous of degree 2, homogeneous ODE, I can call it as uh, ordinary differential equation, ordinary differential equation with uh, degree 2. Now, uh, if you want all the terms you can write in one side like also x square plus 4xy, sorry, minus 4xy, this is minus with uh, dx, this one, and minus 2y square, this is uh, dx, and uh, 
what is this minus okay uh, minus of 2 x square plus 4 x y minus y square into dy equal to 0. I have written according to uh, your required form that means how we started of uh, defining the basic step according to that I have arranged and the problems you do not expect like that only always they, they will give dy by dx like this for homogeneous they may give like that. So, now I expect like this I will observe the coefficient with this and coefficient with this what is the degree ok. Now, same substitution I will choose y is equal to vx and dy is equal to v dx plus x into dy. This equation gives x square minus 4 x into vx minus 2 times of uh, x square v square right this is dx minus minus 2 x square plus 4 into x into v into x minus uh, what is that? That is v square x square because you are replacing y by v x. So, since it is whole square v square x square dy, dy means v dx plus x into dv equal to 0. So, this is your uh, perfect step, this is a step you cannot uh, do any mistakes because if mistake is appeared in this step you cannot get the separation of variables format because to reach the goal into the separation of variables this step you have to verify properly and cancel that x square. If it is second first degree x will cancel, if it is second degree x square will cancel. So, also in the case of third degree this must happen if the cancellation is not going to happen then uh, somewhere uh, calculation mistake will be there then immediately you have to recall and verify ok. So, now what I will do is uh, throughout uh, as usual I expect x square correct huh? that is 1 minus 4 into v 2 into v square multiplied by dx this is uh, x square removal removal of x square uh, minus of 2 uh, plus of 4 v minus v square correct uh, minus v square uh, here x square I cancelled and multiplied by v dx plus x into dv that is equal to 0. Now, what I will do dx is here and dx is here I will take the uh, coefficients of dx 1 minus 4 v minus 2 v square with the v you have to multiply minus 2 times v minus 4 times v square plus uh, v q I hope minus into minus plus v square into v that is v q right this is multiplied by dx ok completely it is multiplied by dx and what else with the dv right ok and minus of this is x into this x remains as it is 2 times 2 plus 4 v right 2 plus 4 v and minus v square what else that is dv equal to 0 that is dv equal to 0 correct huh? dv I have taken I kept it outside dx I have taken and then I have taken as a common factor now I will check that is 2 v square ok simplification you have to do that that is 1 minus 4 v another one is 2 v that is enough that is minus of 6 v next is 2 v square and this is minus 6 times v square correct huh? then uh, 6 times v square then plus of v cube this is for dv or uh, sorry dx and minus x into 2 plus 4 v minus v square this is dv equal to 0. This is your uh, maybe more importantly this is the step where uh, 
the next situation you are going to expect a separation of variables. Now it is very clear it is in the separate it is to be separated uh, variable form because x is multiplied to v and here there is no x here easily you can go for separation of variables. Then uh, after separating of separating the variables I hope you will solve on your own I will give the next step uh, how this is to be written you try this uh, step uh, for the integration purpose I will give the hint separating the variables. How do you separate? That means dividing completely that dx divided by x and minus of it is 2 plus 4v minus v square and 1 minus 6v minus 6v square plus v cube correct huh? plus v cube and then it is dv it is dv that is equal to 0. So, now we can do the integration for this and try this is constant and what value of integration from the second term you try apply your mind and see that how that is to be uh, integrated because anyway it is a proper fraction from this you can group these two terms and from this v square also you can take that common term and uh, see that how it is to be separated and then for what value of that v it satisfies factors you have to write. So, with this uh, I leave this uh, uh, integration uh, work to you and see that how the solution step from the separated variable form you can get it. Thank you.